And see you guys there. Hello and welcome to another installment of the Joyful Learning Kid channel. So, if you don't know who I am, hi, I'm Nathan. I go by Joyful Learning Kid on channel. I'm a Christian. Um, I make some videos about dinosaurs. And yeah, I recently, recently my my second channel got deleted, so I need to go back to Malaysia. If you want. what's behind the background, so it's my luggage, my mom's luggage, my dad's luggage. Look at it, look at it, luggage. You can't see it, but yeah, I'm gonna go back to Malaysia, and I'm gonna uh make that uh thing on my phone. Make the channel on my phone. Yeah, I'm just gonna search up some forest sounds to make it more ambient. Forest sounds. I'm just gonna put this. Oh, okay, that's an app. Alright, so today I am going to be showing you some like tyrannosaurs that I have like mostly tyrannosaurus rex like genus if you're wondering what I'm sipping it's just water put this here all right first one we have a robot tyrannosaurus rex monster freak thing it can roar I'm gonna show you guys Do that. Do that. That's a tour. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Turn it off, turn it off. Whew. Oh, that was bad. Next we have not a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Can you guess what it is? If you're a Mattel nerd like me, or dinosaur nerd, uh, you see that this is a Mattel. Tarbosaurus. I bought this in Malaysia, like, when I went back to Malaysia in 2020. <laughs> I have the light ring right here. Ooh, hashtag, like, um, channel cool, so, whatever, yeah. So, you can move like this. It looks kind of like the Control and Conquer, uh, Tarbosaurus. I haven't bought that yet. But I promise I would in an older video I did for this channel. Uh, next we have an obscure one. I bought this set um at like a power stretcher I think in England. Yeah, and its head does not want to go. Come out! Come on! Come on, head! Come on! You can do it, head. Done. Oh, oh. <laughs> so I have this exact same one, like not the exact same, like different color in Malaysia. But you know, this one is so special because it can move its mouth. I don't have that one yet, so really good. Thank you. Really good. Um. And next, this, I bought this at a free market, flea market, this is an Alleramus, I believe, Alleramus, but it has this one, it's from Disney's, Disney's Animal Kingdom, at flea market, yeah, oh, I'm just gonna take a break, so, enjoy the four sounds.
Okay, I apologize for the long wait. I really apologize. So sorry, guys. I sh I just had to take a break from like a toilet break. N nothing special, but anyway, let's get back to the Alan Ramis. So you can see, I did a video on this on my second channel, but that got deleted. Mm. Yeah, look at that. The Alan Ramis has. Three fingers. I thought it was ha it had two fingers, but like Disney, it's made by Disney. I want to get more of these. And no, we have a long, big pile, giant pile. This is an original T Rex from my childhood. I'm now an eleven year old teenager. I don't know if that counts, but anyway, I got this from when when I was like three or four years old. I, I don't know, but I I was obsessed with dinosaurs back then. I still am, but my dinosaur drawings, wow, they've changed so much. Uh, but yeah, this is a really inaccurate T Rex. Look at that it's dragon's tail on the ground. You can't really see the table, but. You know, there's a table underneath, so, uh, yeah, so you can't really see it standing, but you can get the idea, right? Look at that! Standing on its tail! Who, what kind of dinosaurs do that anymore? I guess, I don't know, but, yeah. So, I, I used to really like this one. It was bulky, and... I got this at the Malaysian Tours of Us. I used to live in Malaysia, if you don't know. Um, and I have one Tyrannosaurus. There was two, I believe. Uh, two two of the, of the same Tyrannosaurus. This was one of the Tyrannosaurus in the set. But, um, yeah, so there were in total three Tyrannosaurus. But I don't know where the other one went. Oh, I gave it to my cousin. Yeah, I have a box. I'll show you at the end of the video, alright? So here's a good look, a close-up at this animal zone Toys R Us Tyrannosaurus from Malaysia. Yeah, if you don't know, this is not the original color scheme. Like, I tried to repaint it. I was just, uh, I was inspired by, um, a fabulous, fabulous YouTuber called, like, Andy's Dinosaur, um, Reviews? Yeah, something like that. He's one of my favorite YouTubers. Yeah, and I tried to repaint it with the paints I have here, but they're not really good. They're just, like, watercolor. Anyway, next one. Why do we have a guitar? Never mind. This one I got for Christmas. So, one of, one of my dad's church friends, uh, we came to her house for, like, Christmas, and I'm great friends with her daughter. Um, yeah, and... This used to make sounds, but when I close the jaw, but it doesn't work now. And eh, never mind. <laughs> um, it's articulated. It looks like a robot rap, like it looks like a robot dinosaur <laughs> for some reason. Um, that's because it, it is supposed to be a robot dinosaur, like. A, Character. I don't know which character it is based on, but so if you if you if this looks familiar to you, you're right. So this is actually the my profile picture for the second Joyful Lemon Kid channel, the one after this one. Um, and yeah, it's really cool. Look, look at shiny. Look at turquoise blue sh thing, shiny. I don't know why it has fangs. It has fangs. 
There's two measures of teeth that's supposed to be dimensioned on. Anyway, we have, this is for my birthday. I reviewed this on my second channel, which got deleted. Um, yeah, I'm just going to say that a lot. <laughs> anyway, this is obviously a bootleg of the Papo, uh, the first Papo Tyrannosaurus, I believe. It's, well, the mold is, um, colors, yeah, colors different. Um, but all in all, this really great figure, really good detail. That's because of bootleg Papple, like, they have really good detailed dinosaurs. Um, and yeah, like, it looks like Rexy from Jurassic Park. With the sunken eyes and the stripes. Really cool. Well, but the nails and the claws aren't painted. That That's also the issue with lots of Mattel figures. But yeah, look at this. This is Tarbosaurus. You know, one, well, right now it's actually really dark. I have this light. So, yeah. This we had, I have for another Christmas. Yeah, back to, and it was a set of things. I still have the Triceratops and the Brachiosaurus and the, um, the, I, why? Oh, Spinosaurus, sorry. Um, I beg your pardon. Uh, and also, uh, the Pteranodon. There was a Pteranodon in there. I broke it. I think right now it's in, in the dumpsters of somewhere I don't know but yeah and it has a stegosaurus which I give to my best friend yeah that's the tyrannosaurus for you the red tyrannosaurus look it can even walk tripodly like like the old Tyrannosaurus trolls on it. <laughs> if you don't know, I watch lots of paleontology videos. Lots. Too much. That's... I have another version of this. And the... No oh, yeah. So, these two. Yeah, they're the same. Uh, but let's look at this first. So, I have another one of these almost the exact same um but yeah uh, tiger stripes just green i love green green's my favorite color and yeah yeah pretty good um it's not as accurate because t-rex was chonky i really like t-rex but my favorite dinosaur is dilophosaurus but uh, yeah, look at that. Pretty good for for knockoff T Rex. I don't know what knockoff this is based on, but yeah. Second one, we have the more colorful version. I got this at Tesco's with a a variety of brightly colored dinosaurs. Right now, like I just realized, I don't know why, but they remind me of the Jurassic Park Kenner. I believe, uh, chaos effect dinosaurs toys, where they had these bright, bold colors. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, but not the best figure, like any detailed figure. But uh, so I got this from the same. I got this from the same flea market as this Disney's. Animal Kingdom, uh, Alloramus. But this one, it moves, it cannot stand, obviously. Like, look at, look at his legs. Look at these. Accurate, but, like, it can't stand, but it's bent. One of the legs is bent. I mean, warped. It's just warped. Yeah, this one's warped. But, you know, pretty good fit.
bigger, like it's not feather and it's not chunky, but a very good special, a very good special thing in it is, you know, I have trypophobia and so it's beautiful. Look at this, this is a special thing about it. <laughs> and then, make sounds. I don't know if you can hear that. It's really close to the camera, but yeah, basically has this action. Where if you open its mouth with its one claw, it lights up and it like it like opens its mouth and makes noise. Sorry. Sorry for the long video, like 16 minutes, wow. <sighs> we have the T-Rex I was talking about, like the small one. Uh, like there was two of these, but I gave it to the, yeah, to my cousin. Which I'm about to see in two days. Yes! Happy. Face is... I don't know why the face kind of warped to me. It looks kind of warped. The jaw is broken. Um, and it's Dragon's Tail on the ground, but slightly better than this one, although this one is, in my opinion, a bit cooler. This might be like, a, it can be like juvenile or something. Yeah. Uh, ooh, all right. The landing three. Oh, doesn't sound. Alright, I'm gonna review this first of the three. This one it cannot stand. It came in the same set as this, which, in my opinion, is better than this. Um, but yeah, I think this is based on. Or bootleg, um, by the yes, yeah, I think it's based on the Carnegie Collection T Rex. I don't know if it's supposed to be T Rex or an, a bird of source. You see the colors, like they kind of remind me of the Mattel Alberta source, if you know what I'm talking about, with the you know, kind of like pastel purple with the green on the bottom but you know it's pretty good looking kind of this kind of I don't know why but it kind of looks disgusting I, like no offense but kind of looks like gloopy and slimy I don't know why oh um, man the real big downside to it is this doesn't stand it doesn't even stand like I'm I'm sure like if it has its tail like on the ground like this, it would be able to stand and it would be better for me, but doesn't and why does it have these two bumps? Look at that. You can see that? These two bumps. They look like the back of a frog. If you don't know I'm scared of frogs. I have an original fear of frogs. <clears throat> Next, we have this. Beauté. He is a Tyrannosaurus Rex, I'm pretty sure. And this, he like, he's like from like a set I got for Christmas years ago, three or four, I, I, I don't know. But yeah, he doesn't stand it well. He, he has problems standing, but you know he still a cool figure. I I don't know what he's bootlegged by, but I don't know what what brand of T Rex he's bootleg of. Bootleg of? Why can't I speak? Um. But yeah, look at this. It's pretty great. It's not the best figure in the world, but like, pretty, pretty good. Speaking of Papo, like, I don't have a single Papo dinosaur, so 
when I go back to Malaysia, I'm going to get some. If you don't know, my favorite Papal dinosaur toy is the Papal Therizinosaurus. I don't know why, but there's like a certain charm to it. Like, sure, like it walks on its tail, well, stands on its tail, but it's kind of like rearing up to scare a predator. And it's not very scientific accurate, but like it's bulbous, bulbous. Like, and really hefty, and the jaw opens. That's why I'm really good. Um, but this one is made by a brand called SH made in China. Yeah, SH made it. I don't know if. It's associated with H.H. Monster art, Arts, like the Godzilla H.H. Monster Arts figures, but if they made this, then why can't you make it like got the your Godzilla quality figures? Like, come on, man, this cheaply made looking like juvenile Tyrannosaurus is not very good looking. And like you could like put like a paint scheme that at least it's not that lazy. Look at the eye. The eye is like wait, the head looks like a raptor head. If you Oh yeah, I have this Utah Raptor for sure. Oh it's kinda of different, um but look at this. Looks so similar. If this was cover this if this was a Velociraptor, if this was, if I covered this, what would you think it was, if I didn't tell you it was T-Rex? It looks like, kind of like a Velociraptor, I, I don't know why, like the, maybe the brows, maybe the, I don't really know, but. I have this Utah Raptor or Dynamicus or Velociraptor. I don't know what that is, but the jaw is slightly different. Like it's uh like it's longer than this T Rex jaw. So yeah, that's my end of the video. I'm gonna share with you the thing that I got from my cousin. Look at this thing. This is for my cousin. It's filled with dinosaur toys and one artwork and one bush. I, if you don't know, my, my girl cousin, she really likes dinosaurs. I think she's like one of the hundreds of girls who like dinosaurs. Like, it's very rare to find a girl that looks dinosaurs. But yeah, here's the second ones I was telling you about. He's exactly the same, I think. Well, no, no, not exactly the same. Like, they're the same skulls. But, yeah, I guess it's a little different. And the paint scheme is a little lighter than... Like, there's a bit more, like, beige to it than this one. This one's just, like, really dark and black. Yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and, yeah, this is, like, a couple of videos I'm gonna make before going back to Malaysia. So, I hope you enjoy it, and, you know, have a great day, have a great like night or it's dinner time for me but yeah have a just have a great day you know follow god if you want follow jesus if you can and god bless you bye